Hey, what's up people? Welcome back. So, uh, last video, I kind of uh, stopped halfway and I was trying to get an expression for the mass flow rate through the top. And after that, like, I kind of got a bit tired and I was like, okay, cool, I, I need to take a break. So, here I am, I'm back. Okay, so let's, let's check a look at uh, what the mass flow rate through the top is. Now, if you want to do a mass balance around this uh, mass balance around this uh, control volume you'll see that m top plus the mass flow rate through the left which will likely be in uh, it won't be m top it'll be m left okay and then that will equal to the mass flow rate exiting from the system from the right hand side so i put m right okay and before I substitute this in, um, what what then do I do? Um, I'll say that m left equals to integral of uh, all the small little uh, masses that are coming in. Okay, integral dm. And what is dm? It's a differential element, so it's rho dv. Okay. And you can also say it's rho u at uh, x, and then you can just put dA. Alright, so dm equals to rho dv, it's a mass times volumetric flow rate, and then you can decompose this into uh, velocity times area. And what's the area? Uh, rho u, and what's this length over here? And length over here is delta. Okay, so delta and the z length will be LZ again. So rho u delta, all evaluated at x. Uh, well, rho u delta, evaluated at x. And then after that, uh, what, what else? You have LZ. Okay. Ah, okay. I think I, I, I can't make a mistake here. Yes, it's delta, the length is delta, but this should be, I think, dy rather than delta. Okay, rho u, x, okay, l, z, dy, because this is a differential element. Okay, um, so integral of dm equals to uh, lz on the outside because it's a constant, rho u, x, Rho u x, there, yeah. dy. And there you go. Uh, this is your expression for uh, mass flow rate in. Of course, mass flow rate, flow rate out. You just uh, you just put uh, x plus delta x, and this will be from zero to whatever delta is. Okay, so uh, that's how we uh, do it, and. This will, this delta will be evaluated at x, and of course the other delta will be evaluated at the delta over here will be evaluated evaluated at uh, delta x plus delta x. All right, so let's let's uh, write all this in. Okay, m top equals to m left plus m right. Oh, let's put it this way. Dot m, and this one comes from the top equals to uh, m right minus m left okay dot m right minus dot m left and that's what we will get um that's what we will get okay so uh, let's let's uh, substitute some things in of course we yeah, you, we can actually do the minus substitution, but that will actually cause more confusion. Like I substitute minus m uh, dot uh, minus m dot over here, which is uh, a little bit confusing. So I don't want to do that. Okay. So remember, uh, we are actually doing the momentum flows, and I'm trying to get an uh, expression for m top from mass balance. Okay. So uh, m right. What is m right? M right will be integral or lz lz integral of from 0 to where delta 
delta p at x plus delta x so I double close that dy okay so what uh, rho u u evaluated at x plus delta x and let's hope this thing will work properly if it does then I can just copy and paste all of this over and um, yes okay looks looks good and let's see then I can just remove the delta x and just copy and paste the same expression now just remove the delta x there so uh, this is how m top will look like now if you substitute everything back in we will have the you can have the uh, inflows and outflows uh, together so total momentum outflow okay and what will that equal okay uh, outflow of momentum net outflow outflow of momentum uh, just just uh, have that yeah, equals to everything so the left side which is this part I'll just copy and paste uh, the right side which is this part I'll copy and paste and then the top part okay uh, minus m top times u infinity okay so let's put that first and uh, I'll substitute uh, this in for m top all right <coughs> so we are we are halfway through so uh, let's continue uh, again it kind of runs off the page so I'll probably have to start a new line <coughs> so I do the parentheses as so and that should about do it okay now uh, you can see it's uh, starting to get a little bit long okay uh well let me let me let me put a little bit more at the bottom so that there's less confusion the whole mass balance term actually sticks together and then all, all of this will mul be multiplied by u infinity <coughs> now so this is the net outflow of momentum and it should equal the the uh, sum of the forces so what's the sum of the forces sum of forces okay sum of forces is this uh, let's put this sum uh, fx all right and that will be equal to everything the t the bottom okay top uh, left bottom left top uh, right and top all right so let's go bottom left right one is here so copy and paste it's a nice thing you may take a while to uh, write all this down but once you can start copying and pasting it gets really really quick okay that's something you cannot do with handwriting <laughs> okay so all of this will be the so-called uh, summation of forces okay uh yeah so let's let's just uh, do that okay so uh let's see yeah uh we we do have that kind of a uh, thing going on uh let's now let's uh equate equating both okay so so we'll have the sum of forces the sum of forces will equal to all of this the net outflow of momentum so I'll just uh, take this part out okay I'll compound first just to save time take this part out and there we should have our right formula okay uh, so immediately you can see you can cancel out the LZ 
okay because it's a 2d problem you don't really care about LZ anyway but the LZ was just there in a derivation to uh, you know help with any confusion related to dimensions because normally we'll have to multiply everything by area and not by a simple length as in when you have you want to calculate force from a pressure you you want to calculate a pressure times some area right so it's way more intuitive to uh to think about lz rather than you know just uh you know plain pressure like that i think i forgot uh yeah there should be an lz in here somewhere okay uh so uh I mean, this is the yeah the top side should have LZ the, the forces through the top should have an LZ but uh, yeah because this is a one length dimension you need another length dimension so uh, I need to put it back here kudos to you who actually caught my careless mistake so good for you uh, if not uh, maybe no oh, that's okay uh, we caught it yeah we caught it and don't don't hesitate to tell me if I have any careless mistakes because that that happens to be the norm in normal in a very long derivations so uh, anyway this LZ will cancel along with all these LZs all right where LZ is some length in the X dire uh, Z direction all right hear the knock on the door probably some delivery but I'll stay for you guys first okay for the time being not always all right <laughs> Uh, okay let's see uh, now what what's the next step uh, what is the next step so uh, let's see okay next step uh, pretty simple uh, we divide throughout by Delta X and take the limit uh, Delta X goes to 0 now you can see what we are doing here Delta X limit Delta Delta X right arrow to zero. Okay, delta X approaches zero. Okay, so you can notice uh, some of these things will become like you uh, know derivatives. Okay, derivatives. So you can see this uh, mm. if you divide throughout by uh, this uh, delta X. Yeah, you can see that it, this uh, some of the things actually start to become derivative. So let's uh, divide out first by delta x. So we're gonna go through it slowly. So we're gonna do a fraction, and all of these terms will start popping into the fraction. Okay. All right, and then let's do a fraction again. So let's do a half. I'm gonna do a delta x right there. <coughs> because this is a product, so it doesn't really matter. We can uh, we can take it as and how because okay, you will notice some of these actually start to look like derivatives. Then let's do the right hand side as well. Okay, and you notice this becomes a derivative. Okay, so fraction. Okay, you just put delta x at the bottom. And this last bit here as well, same thing. And you'll see. Um, I can just put 1 over delta x on the outside. Okay, so I actually took care to say that the momentum, um, the, the momentum layer, the boundary layer length, Okay, I uh, actually differentiated x plus delta x and x over here, but um, and I and I did not do it for here, but 
they basically mean the same thing. I just, you know, didn't take as much care doing all these no excuse me, notations. Alright. And of course the uh, delta the momentum layer thickness here, momentum boundary layer thickness, all of this actually refers to delta P. Okay, so uh let, let me put it like that. So there is less confusion. Alright, so uh I'm sure about do it. Yeah, it should it should look a bit like this, okay? And let's see whether we can uh, reduce some of these to derivatives because this already looks like a derivative here. <coughs> so, excuse me. Mm, yeah, I think I need to drink some water soon. But um, hold on. Okay, so um, this one, uh, this one. Um, We'll, we'll need to uh, take limits on this, okay, so we can actually, I mean just for, we can take limits first, okay. Uh, I can't remember how to write limits in LaTeX, but, uh, hmm, okay, so uh, this is how limits should look like. Uh, apparently they have this uh, bracket thingy over here. Okay. Um yeah, maybe just I'll just try this. Let's see whether I can do a limit here. Okay. Okay, lim okay, x goes to 0 and I will just uh, do this on both sides. And of course I have to indicate the brackets. A lot of brackets. Okay, so um, this this uh, these two will become derivatives, and I'll just stop there. Then, uh, how to deal with this side? I will um, I will uh, deal with it in the next video. So let's do this one first. This one is a uh, Obvious, uh, you know, um, the uh, partial by partial x. Okay, so this one is a partial by partial x, partial derivative of x, with respect to uh, this uh, rho u square. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna take out the limit part. And I'll just say, no, uh, partial by partial of x, because this is a derivative. And here we see that this is also a derivative, so I can just um, change this into partial by partial of x. And let's. Uh, yeah, I will take all these this, uh, x plus delta x notations out. Oh dear. There you go. Ah. Thank yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Okay, of course all these things, all these notations I'll have to remove. Mm. There you go. Oh, I don't even need the row ux. Okay. 
Mm. And of course, I can, uh, instead of having them all on like two lines, I can shift them to one line. And there you go. I think we'll stop for now. And we'll deal with this part in the next video. Of course, we can de combine some derivatives and stuff uh, but yeah i guess i guess we will just uh, leave leave it at that for now and i think i forgot to uh, to include something uh yeah there's a u infinity factor that needs to be over here u infinity all right i hope i have not made any more careless mistakes in copying and pasting but uh, I think this should be about right if there's anything just leave it in the comments I'll try to call if I catch myself doing it I'll probably catch myself doing it eventually like the careless mistakes and all um, but yeah if if you have careless you you spot careless mistakes just see, uh, mention them in the comments no harm <laughs> let everybody know okay thanks for watching I'll see you guys again bye bye